I've been dancing traditional tango for about a year and then going to be longer for about a year, traditional tango. Then I met Laura Hudson from Same Gender Tango and she taught me how to follow, which was a whole new experience. And that same year, um, I saw advertised the first International Queer Tango Festival in Buenos Aires. <laughs> so I thought, I've got to go. Booked my ticket and went. And it was amazing, it was life changing. There were people there from Queer Tango, New York, San Francisco, Berlin, Hamburg, Stuttgart, all these places. So when I came back to London, I thought, we need Queer Tango London. So uh, that's how I came to uh, set it up. I knew Tim in about 2008. He found a new venue in 2011 and very kindly uh, invited me to the opening evening and um, I started to help him with the teaching and I've been doing that ever since. I think I met Tim maybe in the first year or two of Dancing Tango and he was one of the men I met who liked to follow and who liked to intercambio, who liked to change rules and so we danced together quite a lot for fun. Um, I've been dancing for about four years. Uh, I started in, uh, I was living in Boston at the time um, and started uh, dancing at a, a queer tango group in Boston and then moved back to London about uh, three years ago and uh, found this group um, and it was a ready-made group of nice people, very friendly, very welcoming um, and I started coming uh, every week and then got more involved in the organisation um, so now I do the website and the mailing list and I also DJ Everybody will tell you something slightly different, so this is just my view, it's not definitive truth or anything, but for me, um, the posture, the uh, connection with your partner, the embrace, the intention in the steps, uh, the, all the technique of the dance, for me, is exactly the same. Uh, in traditional tango, the roles are gender specific. So the leader is the man and the follower is the woman. Now the big difference in queer tango is that the two roles are not gender specific. So when I'd learned to follow, I, 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 it's a different experience altogether. And now I can dance with people and if they want to lead, I can follow. If I want to lead and they prefer to follow, I can, you know, I can dance with anybody I want and they can dance with me. So it widens everything. In queer tango, you can be leading, following, you can even change, people call it intercambio, whilst you're dancing, changing roles slowly, and you can, you can lead from the following position or follow from the leading position. It's kind of endless possibilities. Yeah. What's happening here, particularly with queer tango, we are not doing archaeology. We're not trying to reproduce how tango was danced in 1914, in 1945. We are trying to be true to the spirit of tango, but we are reinventing it for present purposes. It is alive, it is developing, and that I think is fantastic. In my experience, people I've met who can lead and follow in tango are actually more accomplished dancers as a result. And even if they have a preference, even if they choose to follow most of the time or lead most of the time, I think it gives them a deeper understanding of how the dance works. But I think the idea that you can change and you're not tied or restricted to just dancing one role is really cool. But whenever I go to a, a queer tango milonga, immediately I feel I feel at home. Like here, here, this is this is like home to me. I, some, some some nights I come and, and I'm I've had a really busy day and I'm too tired and and I don't even dance. I just stand and chat to people and, and have a drink and you know it's a social occasion. There's more to learn in tango than maybe some other dances like salsa. So maybe it's harder. It's more work to learn, but it's much more rewarding. And the one thing I would caution anybody is it's really addictive. So just bear that in mind. If people take up tango dancing and they, it, it takes over their lives. Queer Tango is open to anybody. Anybody who wants to come along. Uh, my brother asked me, he said, what, could I come along? I said, why not? He said, because I'm straight. I said, 
that's not what it means. It's about the role change. I mean, of course, there is a connection to reclaiming the word queer, because it was used as a term of abuse uh, against gay people. So in a way, it's, and there's a whole queer philosophy, which is about breaking down the, the boundaries, the, you know, the uh, differences. So yeah, it's open to everybody. We have class once a week uh, on a Monday at Two Brewers in Clapham, Clapham High Street. Uh, from 7.30, uh, classes till about 8.30. Uh, there's a beginner's class, an intermediate class, and then until 10.30 we have what's called a practica. You practice what you've learned during the class. And what's really in, I enjoy about Quit Angle is that the, even the most experienced of dancers there are happy to dance with the beginners just to encourage them and get them to come and enjoy the tango. Yeah, it's really good. Um, we have a website, uh, so go to the website. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, so if you go to look up Queer Tango London and request to be a friend and then you know, respond that way. Uh, and once, we've got, once we meet people, uh, we can connect by email and we have a good email system. So uh, yeah, but go to the website or look on Facebook.